Welcome to the podcast. You're listening to the Team Olenek Podcast Experience All Things Real Estate. And this is a weekly real estate market report on what is going on for real estate values just south of Winnipeg and to the east of Winnipeg. We're going to be doing Neverville, Manitoba, then Illichane and Grand Point, Manitoba together, then Landmark, Manitoba, then Lorette, Manitoba, then over to Dougal, Manitoba, finishing up in Oak Bank, Manitoba. This should take three minutes or less. We're going to talk about the shift in the real estate market and what homes have been uh, doing, what's selling, what's not in all of these towns and how many are on the market currently. Neverville is showing 22 homes on the market. Four came to market in the last seven days. Out of the 22 homes, 10 are new builds. There's two currently pending sale and zero that have sold. And as we go through all the towns, that's what you're going to see. Zero have sold in all the towns that I've just mentioned. That shift in the real estate market is happening. Hang out to the end of the podcast in a couple minutes here, and we will talk about that shift. 13 on the market in Ildachine and Neverville single residential detached homes. Three came to market in the last seven days. Uh, out of those uh, 13, four are new builds, uh, leaving you with nine resale homes one's currently pending sale and zero have sold now as we hop over to landmark you got five on the market there and zero came to market in the last seven days four of the five are new build leaving with only one resale home zero pending sale zero sold into Lorette, you got 14 on the market right now. One came to market in the last seven days. Uh, three new builds, leaving with nine resale homes. Zero pending sale and zero sold in the last seven days. Now on to Dougal, Manitoba. 11 on the market there. Zero came to market in the last seven days. Seven new builds, leaving with four resale homes. Zero pending sale, zero sold. Um, and now off to Oak Bank and finishing off there. 12 on the market right now. Zero came to market in the last seven days. Two of them are new builds, leaving you with 10 resale homes. One's currently pending sale out of the 12 and zero sold in the last seven days. So let's talk about that. Zero sold in all of the towns. There are some homes pending. Stuff is still selling. That shift is happening in a bit. Uh, less multiple offers going on. Some stuff selling below asking price right now. Right now, you need an advisor uh, that's knowledgeable, that can help you all, that'll show you all the data and can help you make informed, educated decisions. So if you're thinking of listing your home, let's go over all the data with you if you're a buyer we've got some great strategies in place for you on how to get a home now now's a great time for you to jump in um, i'm asking are housing prices going to pull back getting that question a little bit yeah probably going to see that a little bit but the next thing is are you thinking of selling your home if you're not it really doesn't matter because the only time you gain or lose in real estate is when you are selling your home think about it though what did you buy your home for 10 years or what was your home worth 10 years ago what's it worth now if you're buying real estate right now long term looking 10 years from now you're going to look like a hero now's a great time to invest as things are starting to pull back to as well again something you're keeping 10, 15, 20 years, you'll look like a hero down the road. Real estate's the only way to inflate, uh, to hedge inflation. I want to thank you for watching. Any real estate related questions, let's have a conversation. If you're looking at listing your home, let's go through the process. We can show you everything, show you all the data, and you can make informed, educated decisions that will make it a stress-free process. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and tune in again next week for our next weekly reports.